Link 2012. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Descent Developer Commentary. Uh, we left off here. Didn't quite finish this area yet last session. However, it's looking very promising. I have about an hour, maybe even two, to finish this up. And I have some things I want to test out today, too. An unintended exploit. Not in this area, but a previous one that I just thought of. So, we're going to have to finish this up first, of course. I'll grab any little things around here. Alright. Wonderful. This is always my favorite way to go. Because you got that chest there. And then there was some... If you went around this... Wait, was it this way? You get to that area over there, which had a lot of chests. Right, I did want to check up here. I realized later on we're probably going to use a set, actually, to be completely honest with you. Which means that we're not going to have these luxury boots with us anymore. Which is a bummer. Oh, I love how this good's up dropping down from the ceiling. Right. Wonderful. So let's move on. I'm not sure what to do about the boss here, because I want to use unbreakable stuff. But at the same time, I don't really have an unbreakable chest plate I can use. And I don't know if I should be wearing these pants either. Because these pants, while very, very nice, are, uh... Oh, I don't have any strength anymore. My pants simply aren't designed to fight this type of thing. So, we're going to have to figure that out. We're not going to be taking a lot of hits from him, is what I mean. So, since we're not taking a lot of hits... I mean, we're going to take a lot of hits from him, but not directly. He has attacks that, uh... That indirectly hurt you. You'll see what I mean. It's just like the final boss fight. He doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> he just... Oh, actually, never mind. The final boss fight, he does actually attack you. But that's only during certain stages of the fight. For most of the fight... You're fighting other things. Alright. Oh, great. That is not what I'm supposed to be using. It's perfect. Let's see if the errors are still here. I'm guessing they are. It takes a while to despawn. Oh, why don't you have particles? That, that would have killed me if he didn't have particles. Oh, they did despawn. That's actually very surprising. I was not expecting that one bit. And it doesn't look like there's anything in here. I'm going to check quickly, though. I would have put gravel here if there was something here. Yeah. Come on. No need to lag, game. Right, there's a very strange spawner right here. We do have a full emerald block, by the way, so we probably should go buy that. Oh, would you look at that? We probably should go get that before we, uh, ouch, take down the boss here. All right, so it looks like there's a chest in here. Yep. This one's fire resistance, right? Yeah. It gives us some attack damage and some... That might not be a bad idea for this boss, to be completely honest with you. Because this boss probably is very fiery. I can't remember it entirely. Uh, the issue is, of course, that these things aren't unbreakable. One piece of them is unbreakable. So what I might do is find a set piece that has an unbreakable chest plate. What we really need is regeneration and uh, 
Oh boy, that's a fall. Yep, 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 yeah. Get the picture. Actually, I think I might not always take damage from them because of the angelic boots. The water. Um. Oh boy. What was the thing about the water? The water makes it so that way I'm immune to it. You're immune to explosions in water, right? I'm probably completely wrong about that. <laughs> oh boy. Get some more XP bottles. That's nice. And I'm down there. And this is where the head was. We did a great job on that. Oh boy, this is awful. This is why you have the harpoon gun. This is one of those situations where it's actually absurdly helpful. Yeah, this lag is really undesirable. Actually, maybe if we just pause for a second, it might help. Oh, nuts. Come on. Alright, let's go. Yeah, these guys will fight it out. That's what skeletons do when they hit each other. It's so cute. If you were in Blitz, the way you'd get down here is I jump in the water, or have to jump over here, and you might barely be able to make it. But even if you get over here, you only make it up so far. I guess you could technically jump right there, but then it's broken off. Actually, I think I might have broken down this bridge a little bit extra. Or I might have actually, I probably added that little, th no, I probably didn't add this little bit right here. It's probably already there. All right, that's the, what is it, second to last arm we've been down, so we just need to go this way. And we should be done. Oh boy, yeah, we got spiders here. Come on. Keep pressing 4 instead of 3. Ah, nothing back here. That's a bummer. Because those aren't necessarily easy. Yeah, I love the sounds of these guys. These are just zombies, but you would never think of it. They're they're in their entirely own creature. It's like how we share fifty percent of our DNA with bananas, but we're totally different. Fifty percent of DNA is a lot, by the way. I know it's. I, I know it, it. It doesn't seem like a lot. Even uh, all humans are something like ninety nine point. 9% alike, so just to give you an idea of uh, how little DNA varies in reality uh, in a particular species. Alright, well, I'm glad I put a chest in there. Probably to encourage players to, well, you know, yeah, you don't have to take down these spider spawners, but it would be nice if you want to get everything. Unfortunately, the reward's not the biggest in the world. I know that on top of one of these things, there's a chest. I just don't remember which one. So we are, we're going to have to do a little bit of digging. And it is in the original Blitz map, too. Which is why it's there. I mean, I already hear the, the, the magma cube in there, which is very surprising to me. Reason that's surprising that I thought he spawned in, but I guess I, I did I didn't make it that way. You know, we really don't need the uh, demonic scale <coughs> and normal gameplay because we can always just jump up and get water. We're not going to be on fire for long. Yeah, you hear him up there. I must have jumped up too high, and that probably spawned him. 
All right, so we're done with that. I did want to check something out, though. And this is an exploit that I figure might work. Wait, what's this bow? Oh, just a regular one. Whee! So fun. <laughs> they still go super fast in mobs, so it doesn't matter too much. We need to transfer this stuff. So let's go find our ender chest here. Oh boy, we actually don't have a lot of space. Um, let's actually keep that. Let's grab you. Let's just put it all in here. Then we'll do the boss and then we'll empty out everything after the boss. Yeah, you see there's nothing in here. Uh, should we take purple mist? No, we're gonna leave purple mist here. Just because I don't want it using up space and the only place we can use purple mist is here. I'm pretty sure about that. So. Oops. Eat that. Oh, I don't need it. I would like it. Okay. All this stuff we don't need. And yeah, di one diamond won't make a big difference. Oh, we really don't. Oh. We already have lag books. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Alright, let's go put this away. And I want to show you guys my potential exploit, which could be very, very overpowered. Now, I like leaving thing. If I couldn't figure out the exploit, I leave it in. If I can't figure out the exploit in uh, my own alpha testing, I leave it in. No, sorry. If I find, sorry, if I'm able to discover it in my alpha testing, I still leave it in. Because if there is something smart that the, pl if, if it's not, you know, egregious. Um, because if players are smart, they deserve to, uh, they deserve to get some stuff. Like, I know there's one point in the map where there's something that clears blaze rods, but you can... Make a water stream to get them out of the zone that has it clearing from you. And man, this lag. I did restart my computer recently, so that's confusing to me. Alright, anyways. We should not have done that. What I meant to do... Let's get over here. Now, since the horses don't work, we're going to have to game mode 3 this. Ugh. Alright. Ah, oh, no. I got torches. Alright, so here's the exploit. You remember Thorlon's axe? I might have a way to get it. Now, this isn't going to be easy by any means. It's going to take some time, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth it. So I can't remember what Thorlon's axe has. I hope it's not too overpowered. I just know that I want an axe weapon. That's the exploit right there. Is to use... Um, these arrows. Now, by the looks of it, it will take me a little while. Oh, he got up there. Perfect. Yeah, so slowly but surely, we're going to take the axe to where it's no longer in the chunks that had the redstone to remove it from my inventory. And at that point, we should be able to use it. Right, where is it? It's over here, right? Yeah, you can see it's on fire right there. I'm pretty sure that once the arrow dies, it'll come along. Because the arrow has a very limited lifespan. Oh, maybe not.
Yeah, it didn't go in the end. Nope, it's still going down. <laughs> okay, the arrow is super limited, and the reason being is that, uh... Oh, there we go. Got it all the way over here. You don't want it to... cause unnecessarily lag, and unnecessary lag, because you can shoot a lot of these out, and then that'll cause problems. Oh no, where is it? Oh no, I lost it! Is it one of these trees? It's not on that one. Where did I put the axe? There it is. Well, get back up here! <laughs> Look at all these things. Yeah, there you go. There we go. I guess I just need the arrow to despawn. Right, so it's right there. Oh yeah, I see it now. I bet you guys were all seeing it in the episode and you were like, Link! Ah! Oh no, no, I forget where it is. It's somewhere right here. Yeah. Yeah, the, the arrow keeps spawning more, more, more of the path. And that's an issue. All right, there we go. It went up a little bit. So we're slowly but surely getting it to a better point. Yeah, it's right there. And the reason I'm above the trees is uh, because if you go on the ground, you have to go through the trees, and there's a lot of them, so I don't want to have to deal with that. Come on. Just die, arrow! <laughs> And I hope that the clear mechanism isn't the same as the, uh, sorry, is the same as the mechanism that replaces it. Because if they aren't, then it could clear it, but it couldn't replace it because it's too far away. And that would be an issue. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to, oh, I killed a bat right there. That's pretty funny. Come on. There we go. That's more like it. So you need to shoot it over almost. All right. Now let's get up here. Yeah, there's a perfect section to get right in between. Yeah, there you go. Got it. Got it. Oh, where is that? Right there. Oh, never mind. I shot the wrong place. Oops! I brought a creeper along with me. Okay, so now... Go ahead. Render distance of 4 is the minimum for the map. So we're gonna do that. No! Okay, I'm pretty sure I moved it. the redstone to spawn. Because I did think of that. I did think of that in the end. Rats! Well, it was worth a shot. We almost got an insanely overpowered axe. Now, the other possible method would be to pick it up and drop it into a hopper at the exact same time. And then from that hopper, we could look at the axe. Won't be able to do anything to it, though. I wonder if you could put it into an anvil, because then if, at that point you could... No, you can't put it into an anvil. Alright, let's go. I want to get a good setup here. 